John Ritchie. TMP stands for Tradition, Family, and Property. And, uh, we're a group of conservative Catholics who defend tradition, family, and property in society. We see those three values as the foundation of Christian civilization, of Western civilization. Absolutely. Return to Order is a book that was just published after 20 years of research, and it points to the crisis that our economy is suffering in the United States, and also it develops a solution. Uh, the crisis is very clear. Most Americans are concerned with the way the economy is going. Uh, the average American has 13 credit obligations. Um, and if you were to divide the national debt, each American would have to pay $50,000. So, you know, we're spending too much money, and at some point, you know, it's, gonna, it's unsustainable. At some point, uh, it's going to really turn bad. So, the research that was done in Return to Order points to a solution, an organic Christian solution. And uh, the study goes all the way back to the Middle Ages. And it, and it shows how after the fall of the Roman Empire, in the Middle Ages, they, they were able to, to bring society to, to, to get, to get the, the virtues, um, basically the anchors of virtue in the Middle Ages were able to coalesce and to form an order that actually um, flourished everywhere. And society was restored in an orderly fashion. And uh, we find that those principles will, will be able to project themselves into the future and uh, put new alternatives out there that aren't being considered right now. Because everyone's talking about free markets, but nobody's talking about the principles of free markets. Where do those principles come from? And with an economy without virtue is an economy that, that can't survive for very long. So that's, uh, in a nutshell, what Return to Order talks about. Okay. Well, as Catholics, we've been praying, you know, for the, uh, before the election of Francis I, we've been praying for a strong and holy pope. And uh, we're lay Catholics, so we're totally obedient to the Catholic Church and the magisterium of the Church. And uh, we're, we're praying that the new pope will be able to face the challenges that, uh, that his tremendous responsi responsibility entails. And uh, we have to keep praying that we'll be able to, uh, the church will be able to basically fight uh, the moral corruption that we see in society. And, and with the grace of God, uh, we're confident that that will happen.